I never really went to professional acting school, mainly improv classes and smaller classes, workshops in Los Angeles. For me as an actor, a big problem I had when I would approach a scene is that I would go to sense memory, that I would pick an emotion in a place in my, my life that I wanted to recreate in that scene. And if I didn't feel it, I would go farther into it. And I would think that like cutting yourself in that specific scene, in that specific memory would get me that emotion. So I was forcing uh, the idea of what the performance would be. And here I learned that you didn't, the second that you didn't feel it, you could find another place, you could find another person in your life, you could find another memory and say, oh, oh my God, that works. Holy crap, that's, that's it. And I don't have to think about it. And suddenly switching these places and these people and these words for things that are very personal for me made sense. It was a huge, you know, light bulb going off for me. I was like, wow, you can, you don't have to struggle so much as an actor. You can breathe into it and allow your mind and your, your, imagination mixed with who you are and what you've experienced to, to mold into presence, <laughs> you know? I mean, what's cool, I mean, I feel like the, the norm for an acting coach or an acting teacher is to find out your five stories and then, and then constantly talk to you about those five stories. He's less interested in that. He's less interested in, not that he doesn't care about what you've been through and we all have our stories, but he's more interested in what you're bringing now and who you are right now. And not just trying to go spend two hours talking to you about that time that your you know, dog died and, and bring that to the resonance of your perform, bring the performance. You know, he's, not, he's like, that's, yes, that's a part of it. That's one blade you can use, but where are you at right now? Well, maybe that emotion doesn't ring true to you right now. And he shows you that you're, that there's so many more colors inside of you. Yeah. There's so, there's so many more uh, frequencies to tap into. And the questions that he asks, I think what would stick out to me is how the way in which he formulates his questions and he's very gentle and he's very stern in the same in the same way but it's somehow i don't know it somehow allowed me to feel to forget about me you know and at the same time connect to me you know to work on and to have a counter to your scene to not just focus on your role your role this you know, beautiful piece or this beautiful play that you really want to make sing, having something else to, to balance it, you know, having other exercises to throw in there to say, okay, you're that guy, but you're also that guy, you're also that guy, you're also that guy. And how that influences that scene is incredible. It's incredible, you know, it's like a Swiss Army knife for an actor, you know, and you're like, okay, there's so much work to be done, not just pigeonholing it into who you expect to be or who you, you know, the Pacino performance that you want to give, you know? It's like, no. Find your other senses. Find your other um, personalities that we all have and, and bring that to that role as well. Surprise yourself, you know? And it takes work. It takes a lot. I mean, this class got me excited. Cause I was like, oh, and now I understand how to apply more work ethic to, to acting. Because it is a pretty ridiculous job, let's be honest. It's a ridiculous job. <laughs>
so refreshing. Like, this is what's important. What you're perceiving in me and how we're communicating is everything in life, in general. And, and I want to apply that in every area of my life, you know, in every relationship, in every friendship, in every, you know, we're so, I feel that I am so calculated in the way I would think about talking to somebody, you know. <clears throat> and now it's like, what are, what are they bringing? And how does that make me feel? But don't think about that. Just be, it's like, forget about that. Just be, you know, it's, I guess it sounds kind of cliche, but obviously you, you come with what you have, but the person in front of you and the world in front of you is really what is changing everything. And if you're sitting there calculating, trying to make a decision, you're missing out, you know? At what a metaphor for life, for for working in any field, you know, from listening from a, a business perspective, uh, you know, writing, obviously creative, world but I mean and this class really ignited the fire back in me you know I think we have a lot to say right now in this medium whether it's on a stage or in front of a camera or and what's cool about Anthony is that he encourages you to write he says hey here's an exercise come in you get to have three actors read it right now it's awesome you know even if it's crap, even if what I turned in was totally crap, I'm seeing my words that I wrote four hours ago, you know, eight hours ago, straight there on the stage, and I see what doesn't work, and I see what works. It's, that's what it's about. Having a gym, having people that are into it, that want to play, that come to play, that you're not just an actor in your head, doing an audition, preparing, competing against everybody else. You know, it's cool to see a gym where I'm like, okay, yeah, I want, I want that. I want to go back to that gym, you know. <laughs>